Hey, what's up guys? I'm BTC. I found some pretty cool stuff while playing the new Halloween Brawl, and while this trick is kind of neat, it's actually a pretty good strategy for the harder difficulties as well. During the brawl, the Reaper will appear several times, and on harder difficulties, he can easily kill you or your teammates very fast. If he can get close to you, that is. So the trick is to not let him get close to you. I found out that the pathing for the bosses is pretty simple. They're really only allowed to walk in certain areas, and they are unable to jump up or off of any ledges. You can use this to kite some of the bosses. Now, this doesn't work with Roadhog because he can hook you and he also has longer range, so it's not really that effective. Junkrat never moves and Mercy doesn't attack, so they can't be kited either. But the Reaper can be kited. Now, not only is this a viable strategy for the harder difficulties, it can also result in a very cool little trick that I'm going to talk about in a second here. So, there's a bridge in the middle of the map with water on both sides. Playing as Soldier 76, you can easily kite the Reaper boss around in this area. Reaper will try to attack whoever's closest to him. So, as long as your teammates keep their distance, Reaper will always try to attack the soldier. As the soldier, if the Reaper is on the bridge, you want to be in the water near him. And if the Reaper is in the water, you want to be on the bridge. You want to keep the edge of the bridge in between you and the Reaper boss. Then as the Reaper moves to one side, you simply move around to the other. And as he keeps moving, you just basically have to keep that edge of the bridge in between you. And he will always stay locked on you as long as the rest of your teammates stay out of his range. If you use this in hard mode, it makes dealing with the Reaper a lot easier. As long as the soldier does a good job kiting, Reaper will do almost no damage to the team and you can just take him down with ease. Now, after using this in the harder difficulties, I wanted to see what would happen if I didn't kill the Reaper at all and instead just kept kiting him. As it turns out, you can actually get multiple Reapers on the map. The way it works is you let the first Reaper spawn, then you kite it. Eventually, a second Reaper will spawn and you kite both of them at the same time. This gets a little bit tricky. When the Reaper is supposed to spawn for the third time, instead of getting three Reapers on the map, the game simply removes the first two and creates the third. So once the third Reaper appears, the original two will get completely deleted as if they didn't exist, regardless of how much health they had, and you'd simply get a fresh Reaper on the map. Triton's creations forward, consumed with his need for revenge. Oh, there's two reapers! There's two reapers! I got two reapers on me! We broke the game! I don't know, but it's cool! Don't kill him! <laughs> Double reapers! Alright, so keeping the Reaper alive and kiting him for the entire duration of the brawl isn't very viable as a strategy, but it's certainly something of a challenge and it was pretty fun to do, so if you want, you can try it yourself. I would suggest starting on easy for this though. There's lots more Overwatch on the channel, so make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss it. But that's going to be it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Share it with your friends. Remember, always, always blame the controller because it's never your fault.